In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically log on to Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. Now, I've tried it on all three of these operating systems, and it works perfectly fine. So, here's the case. You are the only person who uses your computer, and uh, you need a password set for network sharing or remote desktop connection. But whenever you turn on your computer, you don't want to have to type in your password every time. Well, what this is going to do is basically automatically type in your password and log on. Now, if you don't have a password set, you know that it automatically logs onto that user account. That's exactly what it's going to do, but you're still going to have a password on your, com on your account. You're just not going to have to type it in. So what you need to do is go to your Start button and click Run. After Run, you need to type in Control user passwords 2 now control space user passwords 2 is all one word except for control space user passwords 2 now users passwords 2 is all one word just to let you know and you just click enter and you're going to have to continue on Windows Vista or Windows uh, 7. Alright, so now you have this panel pop up. After this pops up, you need to go to, uh, you see this check mark right here? Users must enter a username or, and password to use this computer. Uncheck that box and click OK. Now after you click OK, you're going to type in the account that you wanted to automatically log on to. After that, you type in a password for that account and click OK. After you click OK, you're all good. All you have to do is just restart your computer and it will automatically log on to your account. So thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe. Uh, go to my website, www.lmuck1.tk. And thanks for watching.